This is my dad's 2001 Vauxhall Astra that's done 270,000 miles and in part one of this video we restored those cloudy headlights, cleaned the embedded brake dust in the wheel trims, gave the body a good wash, removed iron particles from the paint, dissolved the stuck on tar to the lower part of the doors and restored the faded plastic trim with a heat gun. Then the sun went down and I had to call it a day. So in part two we'll be finishing off the rest of this car. As always, if this video is useful to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Starting the game with a clean car, it was time to move on to stage 3 of the paintwork decontamination, the clay bar. I was really excited to see how much crap came off this paintwork as I'd never detailed a car with this combination of age and mileage before. I used Auto Finesse's clay bar and a spray bottle once again filled with soapy dishwater. Clay lubes often tend to leave behind residue that I didn't want on the paint as I was going to wax it later, plus this is much cheaper. I intentionally didn't bury the dirt on the clay bar as I'd done the bonnet just to see how much dirt came off one panel. Suffice it to say, I was shocked. Just look at the amount of dirt that came off just one third of the panel. You can easily imagine how much the paintwork would be dulled and tinted with this thin layer of gunk covering every inch of it. Of course I did the rest of the car and the results were just as shocking on the doors. Remember all those weird black marks all over the roof in the last video? Fortunately the clay bar was able to remove them, slowly. When finished the roof looked completely different with about 10 to 15 minutes of hard work. And when I was finished I was able to remove about 95% of the deposits. Of course, one big problem to tackle was all the rusty stone chips on the front. Lucky enough, I had a touch-up kit lying around in just the right colour. Now I know I'm meant to remove the rust, build the primer up, paint it and then apply the top coat, but I only had this car for about 2 hours so I just needed a quick fix. That's why I just applied the paint directly. It's by no means perfect, but at least your eye isn't drawn to it unless you're looking. I then set my heat gun to a medium heat to dry it as quickly as possible, as I needed to apply a wax. And yes, I know, I meant to leave the paint to cure for a week before applying a wax, but again, there just wasn't time. As I've said before, I'm not striving for perfection in this detail. The end result though looked much better than before. To wax the car, I used Meguiar's quick spray wax. Despite looking lovely and sunny outside, it was minus 2 degrees Celsius, so I wouldn't have got the best out of a paste wax or a sealant. Anyway, as I said, I only had this car for a couple of hours and I just wouldn't have had the time because it would have taken too long. I was very impressed with this spray wax though when I used on the Civic Type R detail. It definitely adds a nice definition to the paintwork. It's a simple spray on, wipe off application that's safe to use on plastics and doesn't need any cure time. I was able to do the whole car in about 5 minutes with about 3 sprays being enough on each panel. Of 
Of course, no detail would be complete without treating the tyres, so I used Instant Tire Dressing by Autoglim, a product that I wasn't too impressed with when I reviewed it. So why am I using it on this car? Well, I had to use the product up on something, and better on this than the new Fiesta. Still, it did an okay job of finishing off the look. I could have ended the detail right there, but there was a couple of things left that was just annoying me, and I'm sure it was bugging you too. Firstly, those horrible damaged number plates had to be replaced. I know this would have been better if I removed them at the beginning of the detail, but hey, it just feels more fitting to finish off with this. And of course, those Lexus style rear lights are just plain awful and should be left in 2002. I actually have a 2003 Astra as a backup car. A while back I decided to swap my front and rear lights to the dark smoked ones that the SRI models came with. This means I had a spare set of original rear lights just lying around that were the same as the ones this car should have come with. Fortunately, it's just a matter of unclipping the plug from the back of the light and undoing two thumb screws and the light will just pull straight out. With that, the car was finished and oh my god, what a difference. I can't believe this is the same car that I started with. The paint now has a shine to it and the car's by no means perfect, or even close to being in good condition, but now on first glance it looks somewhat respectable. And that's all for me folks, so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. So remember to hit that subscribe button if you liked it, leave a comment in the section below or just click that like button. See you soon, take care.